Okay, so I did make a cut in the video there because it did take a while to get uphill there. I do want to fight this trainer for the EXP and cash because I do need a lot of cash for some stuff I want to do later on in the walkthrough. Like I said, I think I said that last episode. Uh, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and let's use Brick Break, honestly. I think Brick Break should do a decent amount of damage to this Mankey. Mankey's gonna get O code, actually. Holy crap, I guess we are like. 11 levels is higher than him, so it makes sense, but Mankey's gonna go down, and what is this? I'm pretty sure most of his Pokemon are gonna be level 36, or not 36, 26. If we were 36, we'd be struggling a little bit, because that's close to Chaotic's level, and I don't want to deal with that. Anyways, we're gonna go up to level 38 here. Nice, Chaotic climbing those levels. Almost one of my highest level Pokemon at this point. And Machamp, ooh, okay. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge. I'm going to use Dig here because I don't think we can Oko him like we were with those Mag Keys with that Brick Break. But hopefully we can two shot him with um, Dig here. Again, Machamp, amazing. I can't stress this enough. I said, I think I've said this like almost 10 times in the last three or so episodes. But Machamp, really, really good fighting type. I do recommend picking him up if you didn't pick up Machamp or, or not Machamp, uh, Hitmonchan or Hitmonlee. Uh, really, really good fighting type Pokemon. Probably third best in the game in my opinion. I'm just really biased when it comes to Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee because I just love the design. I love how they're based off of really good martial arts in real life. Um, Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan. Bruce Lee of course is dead which sucks. He's actually my favorite martial artist out there. I really uh, thought of him as an idol back when I was little and did Taekwondo myself. And then Jackie Chan's there, he's a really good actor, really funny and stuff. But anyways, we're playing Pokemon, we should get off the topic of martial arts and stuff. It's kind of funny how Pokemon can lead into other conversations like that. But, I think this is almost the end of the bike route, and almost the end of the episode. There might be, uh, like, one more trainer or so, yeah. Actually, let me see how much trainers there are, okay. So, there's, like, a lot more of the bike route, actually. I don't think I'm gonna fight every single trainer, I think I might skip through them. Because, honestly... Going through a bunch of um, coughings and mankeys and wheezings are just not the greatest in the world to deal with. They're kind of it's kind of boring from time to time. So I'm gonna use Rock Slide right here. Um, it should be a little more powerful than. Damn, we actually got a critical hit there. I thought we just Oko'd him out of nowhere. I was like, uh, coughing's defense is supposed to be really good. I didn't think that would Oko him, but he's gonna send out Wheezing next. I am gonna switch out into uh, SSJ Koku here because I won't be able to Oko him with my physical moves, of course. I don't know. I think Shockwave might be a physical move in this game, though. Maybe my Jolteon is just a boss. I have no idea. Again, I am very confused when it comes to which moves are special and which moves are physical in this game because, like, Vine Whip is a special move in this game, which makes no sense. You're hitting somebody with a Vine. Like, well, you'd think that would be a physical move. I'm happy they fixed it in the later gens, but Gen 3 it just makes no sense. If I try playing competitive in this gen, it would not go well whatsoever, but that Weezing's gonna go down, and close to level 37. I'm very happy that my Pokemon, or most of my Pokemon, are almost level 40, because at this point in the game, if your Pokemon aren't level 30, or four, not 30, but 40, you're gonna be struggling quite a lot, actually, because you won't be able to um, Oko most of the trainers, which is kind of a problem in Pokemon. If you're not Oko in like these Pokemon here, then uh, you're not gonna have that much fun in the game because you're gonna be struggling on trainers. And imagine when you make it the gym bells and stuff, you will just have a load of fun with those guys. I remember last episode, I was struggling with Sabrina a few times. Um, I tried recording, I think I tried recording once, and I actually lost to Sabrina, it's not really something I like to do for a walkthrough. If I'm in a walkthrough, I like to be able to beat it in one try, and not try it twice, or record it twice. Uh, just to show you guys that it's possible not to rematch the gym leader. But, yeah, I did struggle against Sabrina, she set up two calm mines, and I was scared because I thought I had to re-record again. Because when Alakazam sets up those calm mines, you will be struggling. Okay, what are we going to do here? Um, I switched back out into Chaotic because, again, I wanted to get him up to level 40, and it's probably my second, no, 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 my third choice of getting up to high level Pokemon on my team. But Chaotic's going to get poisoned here, which makes no sense. I don't really understand how a ground, like the ground can get poisoned. It's kind of weird. Anyways, we're going to take out that trainer right there, and that's pretty much the end of the bike route, so... Okay guys, I didn't have an editor there, so I actually killed Chaotic, because we do have a little more stuff to do here. 
and I could have used Chaotic here with Rock Slide and stuff, but I mean, we still have some Pokemon that we can use. We still have SSJ Coco, and that can get a lot of levels here. So after you beat the bike route, there are a few trainers here with some flying types. Now, um, they they carry Pharaohs, Pidgey, Ots, I think. So a lot of decent EXP. I do recommend fighting these trainers. He's gonna send out a level 29 Spearow. Again, super high level, so definitely bring your electric types here, and we have no more. I forgot about that. Okay, well, um, I guess we're going to have to switch out of SJ Coco. He's not going to get the XP that I wanted, but we can send a Robin here with his new and improved HM Fly on him. I'm not going to use that, though, because it does take two turns, and I'm pretty sure um, we could just Oko this Spearow with a Aerial Ace or something like that. But pretty sure this guy also has a Pharaoh on his team, so watch out for that. If you don't have any electric types on your team, you might struggle with these trainers a little bit. But if you have a strong physical mon, you can definitely take them out, like my Fear right here. Strong physical Pokemon can Oko, Fearow, and Spearow, or almost Oko, Fearow. Fearow and Spearow don't really have the greatest defenses in the world, so um, you can Oko these guys quite nicely. Yeah. Most Gen 1 Pokemon actually don't have the greatest defense in the world, which um, is kind of funny. I don't know why they did that. Um, they were the first 150 Pokemon, so you'd think they would somewhat, even though it was the first Pokemon, the first ideas, you'd think they would somewhat make most of them strong, but a lot of Pokemon Gen 1 just don't have good defenses at, world, at all. There are a few uh, Pokemon, though, that do have some amazing defense, but some are lackluster, but anyways, I have to switch out of SSJ Coco here again. I keep forgetting to do that. Um, I don't know why, and wow, that's the first time I've ever seen that. A Pokemon actually using like a Pokemon trainer in the game that isn't myself using Pursuit properly. Like, I know it probably just like the AI just used Pursuit and it was lucky when I switched out, but still, it's kind of funny to see. I've never seen Pursuit used by a computer like that. They usually spam Pursuit or something or like a random move because the AI in the older games or even in the newer games, even aren't good at all. It's kind of weird that they haven't fixed that over the last few gens. Hopefully they fix it in gens that may make the trains a little more challenging, but I don't know if they'll do that because Pokemon um, is for a younger, or targeted at a younger audience, and most people don't play competitive, so you'd think that they would make the computers a little bit easier, but we're going to go up to level 40 finally. First Pokemon to level 40, nice. I will take that, and Drill Pack. How much damage does this do? 80, okay. Um, hmm... I want to get rid of Aerial Ace. I guess it is 100% accuracy. Okay, we're going to get rid of Aerial Ace. The only reason I was kind of thinking not to get rid of that is because even if your accuracy is lowered, you'll still hit. So if I'm dealing with minimized Pokemon and my Pokemon are just not hitting, I can always switch out into Fear and use Aerial Ace. But Drill Pick's a super strong move, so I kind of want to go for it. And that should Oko the uh, Spearow again. Not really the greatest defense in the world. So. Bird Keeper is going to go down, going to get a few dollars from that, dollar dollar bills, never going to say that again, but the last trainer for today, and I think for the last, yeah, the last trainer, I don't know if there's any more trainers on this route that I need to fight or show you guys, but this guy's going to have the strongest Pokemon on this route, or in this patch of grass area, and he's going to have a Dodrio, and I forgot to switch out, okay, that's just Jake Coco just going, let's just, let's just quick attack him to death, okay, well, um, I tried quick attacking him to death, and that didn't work out, so we're going to switch back into Robin here. Um, we almost took him out, though. Pretty close, but we're going to go ahead and use Fly here. Fly is a really weird animation in this game. You kind of come down on the Pokemon as a blue ball, which is... I, I don't know. I don't know what Nintendo was thinking, or the Pokemon company was thinking when they even programmed that one. But anyways, that's going to be the last trainer for this uh, little area here, and I don't want to run into a Pokemon. Okay, sick. I don't know what you can catch in that patch of grass. I think it's like the same do do as and stuff. But anyways, once you beat that route, you will make it into Fuchsia City, the 6th or 5th gym. I think it might be the 5th gym, but over here is the gym and the Pokemon Center, and... In the next episode, we will be looking around Future City because there is a lot of stuff to do in this uh, uh, little area here. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and tell me what you like in the comment section down below. Also, tell me something you didn't like that I can improve my videos and make them more entertaining for you guys. And yeah, so anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with a comment, man.